I'm very happy to be back with you today for a new collection of poems, which I translated from French to English. It was a, it is a poem from uh, Nouredine Makak, and it is entitled The Songs of Orpheus. Before I start, I want to pay a very special tribute to someone who became in the recent months a man of wisdom for me. And I know he was uh, this man for thousands of people around the globe. He's the one who inspired me to read poems for you. His name was Dr. Kailash Shant Malhotra. And I hope you will look for his story on the internet. He was such a wise and inspiring person who deserves to be largely known. Unfortunately, he left us on Monday, 26 July. And today I want to share my condolences with his family. The beautiful child of the guitar. I'm Orpheus, the beautiful child of the guitar. I strum and I sing with the blood of my heart, not the love poems. And I wait alone, the advent of the beloved who will dance for me in the dark night, all naked. He looks beyond things. I'm Orpheus, my guitar is wonderful. She fascinates all people and comes from afar. All the birds of paradise to know my songs. The trees respect me and the water stand in front of me. I look far where love manifests itself, where love shows itself, where the beloved is looking forward to me. The poet never dies. The poet sleeps alone in the heart of the grass. The ark is pregnant, heavy rain, and the earth waits the birth of flowers. The poet is still asleep and the beloved does not want to come. Wide leaves wait for the flammable letters and a wandering snake crawls slowly. The snake bites the poet's food. The poet does not die. But the beloved dies in her place through panic and fear and disappears forever. When the poet wakes up, he goes looking for her in the darkness of the graves. I'm looking for my guitar. I drink a glass of tea, illness holds me. I want to know the one who poisoned me. And me, I haven't sung yet to the celebration of the city. Everyone, in the rooms waiting for me and me. I tear myself apart with pain and looking for my guitar hanging on to life, like a brave captain to his ship in the middle of the storm. The poet is born alone. The poet is born alone in the warmth of life. He holds in his hands a guitar. He songs complete, the songs of the birds and those of the swallows. He looks at the blue of the sky in full harmony and he doesn't say a word. The poet is born alone without blood brothers, but with the days, the birds become his brothers, the swallows become his sisters. And when he sings about the beauty of love, they reproduce his songs. The poet's room. The poet writes alone in a room full of lights so that the children play in peace and so that poetry or mother's milk. The poet lives alone, but with time the rose becomes his beloved, the scale becomes his divination, and the world becomes happy with his work. The poet's book. In the deep closet, there is a very old book. Only the poet who knew his words. 
He felt that his price is very high, like the number of grains of sand in the desert. His father had told him to read it. Whenever evening comes and that he's alone in his room, sitting near a candle, almost bedridden. Every time when he remembers of the absence of his beloved in the dust of the earth. My guitar calls me to you. In the middle of the water, my song was swimming in total calm. The spirit of the beloved calls me to come to her head quickly. My guitar calls me to you, and I was on the verge of my tears. The weather was rainy, and when I started to play, all the animals came to listen to my music except the odious viper. She was afraid of my anger. The trees then tall to work behind me and the mountains are watching silently. I was about to leave my place, no voice above that, the wind and that of my sad songs. When a dove came carrying on a love leaf branch and the bluebird carrying the image of the beloved, the woman had finally come singing a funeral song, so I hit the road into the unknown. There was one evening and there was one morning, first day with her. There was one evening, there was one morning, last day with her. The poet walks in silence. The poet walks in silence in the fields of signs and icon words. The image is manifest in his mind, and then they quickly disappear. Words are stubborn women. The letters are straight children. And time passes very slow. Even the beloved today is absent. Difficult for the poet to invite himself to write. Today, alone who remains is the lot ticking of an old clock who hums from time to time. Difficult for the poet to invite himself to write, although the blank pages, those in front of him, keep calling him to fill them. The eye of the poet looks in the mirror. When the night begins to rain, the eye looks in the mirror, a window open to the air, and a woman's body manifested in nudity. And the hours go by, the hours pass slowly, and the poet could not write a word. Like a real office. My beloved, the water kisses her before the eyes of the sands. Then she begins to sing while I, her true lover, the man of letters and fables, all I think about is to plant a tree, sadness, grief, and to go far like a real office to take care of myself without delay, no stop. The poet sings at the party. Even if everyone wants to me to be the sea so they can kiss my waves, I will only be a simple bluebird who sleeps in your hands. For life to change, the lioness will give birth to the duck. The boyfriend loves the pussy and the floral lives, lives in the heart of the fox while the water plays with fires and your blue eyes look at the snow. For authors may sing in the party from my wedding, quite simply. I read the music book. In the ocean of my childhood, I read the music book. The waves surrounded me from all sides. The tears of the rain were falling on my head. And the beautiful girls of the region listened to the songs of my love. My mother often advised me to follow the path of love. And my father was proud of my studies. Every time when he came back from his work, he bought me a new pen and white sheets. I drew the face of the moon. Doves were often delighted next to me. So 
So I grew up in her house and I learned the letters of the alphabet before living so far, before joining alone from other horizons. I am the poet who could have looked at the invisible. Me, the musician par excellence, I charm the plants, animals through magic, music. I also charm and endlessly the beautiful women through my songs during the good weather from their youth. I'm the poet who looks at the invisible of other shoulder and defies the prohibition, turning around to see the beautiful face of the beloved, declaring my love aloud for a total freedom. The poet's admirer. Nothing but a simple email that made me dream all the time, who left me in full awakening all night long, a beautiful spring. Yes, that made me turn the hedge, which left me perplexed like a little bird in a great storm. Nothing but a simple email who could change all my life, who made me write and write my passions, my emotions, my desire that kept me from sleeping in all the nights. Yes, who made me become a poet. Just a simple email from a woman unknown, coming like a flame that upset me, who left me in front of the Orphic mirror, all naked. The bread of today, each Saturday from bar to bar, today's poet drinks beer, white wine, red wine, and reads aloud Baudelaire, Rimbaud, and René Char. Each Saturday, today's poet writes love Poems follow the sidewalk girls, see the moon in broad daylight, and never says goodbye to his drunken friends. It's Saturday. Today's poet takes his books to sell them at low price. When the poet wakes up at the end of the night, Writing is madness when the poet wakes up at the end of the night to write a love poem and live in the world of dreams. He doesn't expect from anyone, neither glory nor grace. Writing is madness when the poet believes that he can build different cities where the pigeons live in peace and the birds are singing in full freedom. Writing is madness when the poet sits alone in his room, tracing the words by drawing the pictures of the people dance in the city center and celebrate the new year with so much joy. The dreams of a poet. I dream of the beautiful Eve, which is to be found in the thoughts of a drunken person. <laughs> I dream of a house that can be found on the other horizon, which is only found in the rare books. I dream to write a poem that was never written by other poets than in the other life. The poet looks at the sky. Natalie, at the same time, an original poet, Arab, come to the Thousands Poet Cafe to see a beautiful passerby, very charming, very fine, who passes by this cafe at the same hour. Nightly, an original poet, Arab, come to the Southern Poets Cafe to drink a cup of black coffee, a little light, and start to write a few pages from his upcoming book. Nightly, an original poet, Arab, come to the Southern Poets Cafe to look at the sky full of stars and draw with a pencil, amber, and oni beautiful paintings before coming in at the restaurant to eat. This poet there, it's obvious. This poet there, it's me. This adventure was mine. 
to write so as not to die of suffering. To write is a nice way to find other chances in life. To write, it's a mad desire to live in heavenly lands, imaginary lands. To write, it's a passion, extraordinary, which goes beyond mother's dreams. To write, this is another way to meet people, to create a universe, handsome and intelligent. To write is a style to keep away, to be treated of all diseases related to time. To write, to make sense, to live, to write, is adventure that is mine. Thank you and see you soon.